pressing him, Rocky. Come on. This is awful close. It can go either way. Do something with the kid right now. Gennaro seems to be pulling himself together. He's doing a job on Graziano's right again. Terrific hook. Don't knock Gennaro to me. Look at this kid coming back. He's forgotten he's tired. He's gone this far. He doesn't want to lose. Gennaro just lost his mouthpiece. But time is running out. It could have bothered him earlier. There's the end, and let's let the judges do the voting. I couldn't tell you who won it. Here's announcer Johnny Addy. He says it's a draw. Now the two of them can pat each other on the back and be friends. But Rocky must be wondering, is something the matter? He kept hitting this guy and nothing happened. It's the worst feeling. Uh -huh. See, at this fight, here's two real good friends. In fact, they did road work together in the morning in preparing for this fight. They had a hard fight, it was close. Tony Gennaro was real good. One of the great fights, I thought. I thought, you know, for a knockout artist, how wonderfully Gennaro handled him. I think he took punishment in there, but I think that he handled it very great. But in keeping with your point, I think the result of your thinking would be, I'm going to go out and beat up all my friends. <laughs> it was a great fight, and uh, I know the crowd will love it. It was a classic example between the boxer and the and fighter. And the puncher, right. And the puncher. Exactly. Right. Zero, you've gone a long route to the main event, and all the way you've had to keep punching. This pair of golden gloves is my little reminder to you. Continue to keep punching. You'll always stay there. Oh, that's marvelous. Wonderful. My kids will love that. It's just wonderful. The bigger they are, the nicer they are. And you can make it as easily as they did. Just remember, keep your left hand high, chin down, and keep punching. 